Okay, hi, sorry if I sound a little weird, but I'm sick, but that's not important. So I haven't uploaded yesterday, and I really don't have any ideas on what to upload, so I'm doing this, which is explaining uh, my lore videos, basically. So we'll start off with the first ever lore video I made, which was titled Oh Who Is She, which was using the audio Oh Who Is She. So basically what's happening in that video is that I have a character named Dylan and he used to have an old sailing partner named Courtney, but Courtney died so Dylan is basically just going through the stages of grief. Dylan is basically just having a flashback of her and now he's crying. <laughs> the second lore video I ever made is called Quick Edit I Found Cause I Need Content. This was the first ever edit I made on my Pink Corruption AU. So, in my AU, Iris is, like, stuck in purgatory, and he really hates it, so he's trying to find someone else to take his place, and he picks Cube, because Iris is a giant jerk to Cube for some reason. Luckily, Cube is alright and is not stuck in purgatory. The third lore video I ever made was of one of my original series called Book of Aubrey, and this lore video is called Ha Ha Funny Book of Aubrey Edit Cowboy Emoji. So what's happening in this one is basically Ruby is just very mad at you. Yeah, that's it. Also, Aubrey is some sort of overlord. The fourth lore video I ever made was called Immortal She, and if you guessed it, you used the Immortal She audio again. This one is about Courtney just, like, floating in the afterlife or something. I'm not entirely sure if you could call this lore. Moving on to the fifth lore video, which was called Icy Throne, which was using the song Icy Throne by Billy and Motel, which you can find on Hardcore Utopia. This one features one of my characters called James Circumpolar, and this is how the story goes, basically. Okay, so James wakes up and finds himself in a prison cellar, and he also finds a part of a tree of life in the prison cellar, too, and he gets, like, very concerned and questions why it's there. Yeah, that's basically the whole thing. Now moving on to my sixth floor video, which is called Project SOS Scarlet Wing. This is when Aventurine gets turned into that really rude red bean that no one likes. Aether was doing her weird witchcraft stuff on Aventurine, and he was, like, being tortured, and he became the red bean. So, yeah. Moving on to the seventh, which is called Speaker of the Tree. This one's a little confusing for me to explain considering the fact that I'm the creator of it, but if I had to summarize it, then it would be that Merkava was telling the heroes who are now currently being corrupted that they're gonna be fine, basically. Now moving on to the eighth, which is called Veer of the Tree. So basically what's happening is that our Lorax boy is watching over the tree and watching it get corrupted, and he's very uncomfortable about it, basically. Actually, he's uncomfortable because if the tree gets corrupted, then he gets corrupted too. Now moving on to the ninth and final one, which literally just has a pentagram as the title. This final one is about Aventurine basically just having an identity crisis. Yeah, that's it. Anyways, thanks for being here. Okay, bye.